Suppose we have a risk-free bond that has a face value of $100 and two years to maturity. This risk-free bond pays a 5% coupon semi-annually. So we're going to try to price this bond, and we're going to try to price this bond based off the term structure of interest rates as given by strips. So the first thing we do is we actually plot out the cash flows from this risk-free bond. So if it pays a 5% coupon semi-annually, it means that we receive 2.5% of the face value in the form of coupons every six months. So at the six month mark, we'll receive we'll receive $2.50 at the one year mark we'll receive a coupon worth $2.50 and then at year two at that final terminal cash flow we'll receive that final coupon plus the face value so our entire cash flow will be $102.50. Now we want to price this series of cash flows based off strips. So we are given the strips for six month, one year, one and a half year, and two year. Remember that strips are based off of semi-annual coupons. So the APR here is based off of having two periods per year. So let's figure out the effective interest rate and that's per six month period. So for an APR of 6% with a compound or a compounding period of six months, that means for every six month period, the actual effective rate is 3%. Similarly, the 7% with semi-annual compounding will be 3.5%, 4%, and 4.5%. So now we have everything we need to actually price this series of cash flows of $2.50 every six month plus that final principal repayment. So the price of this bond, this risk-free bond, it's going to be the first cash flow at six months at $2.50 discounted at the six month rate as given by the strips interest, um, interest rate, which is 3%. So this is 1.03 for the second cash flow, which we receive at the one year mark which is $2.50. We're going to discount this at 3.5%, which we get from here, which is the rate for every six month. And since there are two periods, we have to discount it by 3.5% twice. For the third cash flow, which we receive in a year and a half, that cash flow amount is $2.50, and we're going to discount that at 4% per six months, and there are three six month periods between this cash flow and today. Similarly, that final terminal cash flow of $102 and 50 cents, we're going to discount it at four and a half percent, which we got from this strips APR pricing. And since there are four six month periods between that final payoff and today, we're going to discount it by four and a half percent per six month period with there being four periods four six month periods between that payoff and today. So when we plug this all in our calculator, we get the price of this pattern of cash flows as $92 and 96 cents.